Thank you. So, indeed, I will talk about new functions in machine learning, in new, new machine learning functions in Mathematica 10, and uh, especially the function predict and classify. So, the goal of this function is uh, to do supervised learning, meaning learning how to do a task from example of this task. So, one of these tasks could be image recognition, as uh, Shadi showed an example in a, in a talk. Another one would be text classification. So, for example, you have documents, you want to classify the document depending on the topic. They are about biology, physics, whatever. Um, and uh, in a general way, uh, its function, so the, the task is to predict a variable as a function of other variables that we call uh, features. So, in order to do that, if you don't have classify and predict, the usual way um, needs quite a lot of expertise. You need to know about the algorithms, the machine learning algorithms. You need to know about what kind of preprocessing you have to do on the data. And uh, all these algorithms are parameters as well. And uh, so you need to, to tune them. There's some methods such as cross-validation to find the optimal, hyper optimal parameters. And uh, so what we did with Classify and Predict is to automatize all this process to have an automatic preprocessing, automatic choice of the methods, and uh, automatic uh, parameter selection. So in order for even to a non-expert to, to do some machine learning. So here's some basic example of classify. So the goal of classify is from example, from the feature of the example, to attribute a class, meaning a categorical variable. So it's something that predicts a categorical variable. So here you have a list of examples. These are the, the, the demonstration examples. So when the feature is one, the class is A. When the feature is 3.2, the class is B. And uh, so from this fourth example, if you use classify on them, uh, it will output a classifier function. Um, so it will choose a method and so on. And this classifier function can use it on new example to predict a class. So here, if I, the feature is 1.5, the class would be A. And I guess if I put 3.5, the class would be B. Here is a, a simple example of predict. So it's very similar to predict, it's very similar to classify, except that it doesn't predict classes, but it predicts real values. So again, you have four example here. It outputs a predictor function that you can use on new examples. So here is a more interesting example. Uh, I'm loading here from uh, the example data machine learning uh, data about the Titanic passengers. So you have, for each passenger, uh, we want to predict if the passenger survived or not as function of some features uh, of the passenger, which is the class the passenger was traveling in, its age, and its sex. And uh, you see that there's some missing data in this data set, but classify and predict can handle uh, missing data. So again, I ran classify on it. So here I chose a method. You don't have to choose a method. Actually, if you don't, uh, you, you usually have the best performance by not choosing a method. But if you want, if you, uh, because if you know the method, you can, you can use them as well. Uh, so it output a, a classifier function. So here on a new example, a second class passenger of 20 years old, male. So more likely that he died. You can also ask for the probabilities. So here this passenger has, according to the model and the data, uh, about 93% of chance of dying and 70% of chance of uh, surviving. And so this is an important um, uh, thing that all the classifier functions are probabilistic. You can always ask for, for the probabilities, which is quite useful when you want to combine models or do uh, some, type of, some, some type of decision with it. Okay, and here is uh, just uh, plotted the survival probability as a function of age uh, for different combination of, uh, of the sex and, uh, and the class. Okay, so another example, so a bit similar to what Shadi showed, it's on, on, uh, on, um, on images. So I have here, from example, data, uh, data set of uh, handwritten images of handwritten digits that are tagged by the digit, uh, digits. And I can put this data set into classify. So here I just take 10,000 to make it a bit faster for this presentation. And I use a performance goal training speed. So it's one of the value of performance goal you can choose um, to give more information to classify to what type of classifier you want. Do you want a classifier that trains fast, that is fast to classify, or that is small in memory? Uh, all that you can uh, specify with performance goal. OK, so we have our classifier function. Uh, and in order to test it, I'm going to load some test data. So some data that were not in the training set. So here is a, 
that time, is a random sample of 10 of this uh, test example. So I can try on an example. So for example, or let's try this one. If I put a six, will it recognize the six? Okay, good, you recognize it. And uh, in order to be a bit more scientific, you can use the function classifier measurements, where you input the classifier and the test data, and you output a classifier measurements object uh, on which you can query various properties. For example, I want to know the accuracy of the classifier on the test set. So here you have 93.6% of accuracy. I can also ask for the confusion matrix for plotting the confusion matrix. So which, which tells you, for example, here that uh, 821 examples of five have been correctly classified, and here 17 examples of five have been misclassified as six in the, in the test set. And I can actually uh, see what are these examples by querying examples five, error six, and here you have the, the examples that have been, um, that have been classified uh, as six. Okay, so I'm gonna show you quickly a basic text example. So this is not a real life example. So it will just try to recognize if the text is speaking about cats or dogs. And, um, and another example with images, but this time on, uh, on, uh, with predict. So it is images of gauge uh, with a value and we want to try to predict the value as function of the images. So I run predict. So there's just yeah, 100 example. And I can ask the predictor function for uh, your images. So it's a predicted value of, of this gauge. Should be close to it, yeah. And uh, you can also ask for the distribution. So with, with uh, classify, you could ask for the probabilities. Here you can ask for the continuous distribution. So it said that given this image, uh, the belief of the, of the predictor function is a normal distribution centered around 0 0.75 with this standard deviation. And here is just a uh, a tool to dynamically check your 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 classifier your predictor. Okay, and uh, so another part of uh, classify and predict are built-in uh, functions. So it's function that you don't need a training set to to use them. They have already been trained uh, by us. So in the first argument, instead of putting a training set, you put a name. So for example, the, I, I want to use the class, built-in classifier language. And for a string, it will give you the language of, uh, of the string. So you can, again, you can wrap that around dynamic to, to, to test it, which is quite a good tool to test your, your, your function anyway. And uh, yeah, okay. And so there's all some, some other ones, such as uh, determining the, the topic of a Facebook post and uh, things like this, you can see the other one. Okay, I think that's all I have time to show. And uh, if you want to know more about it, uh, there is, of course, uh, the documentation of classify and predict. There's a machine learning guide, and there's a new intent pages with nice examples. And, uh, and also a blog post about uh, predicting, so it was done before the World Cup, about predicting who will win the World Cup, uh, which is a, an example of, of um, you have an example of a full, um, the full workflow uh, of machine learning with, with, with Mathematica on, on a real problem. Okay.